AI enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of AI Breakdown. I'm Megan, guiding you through the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. And I'm Ray, here to take on the technicalities. Today's topic is a recent study examining a phenomenon in AI models called hallucination, specifically in a model named GPT-4V, or GPT-4 Vision, for our new listeners. That's an intriguing topic, Ray. Though the term hallucination brings to mind images of AI models lost in dreams, it actually relates to scenarios where models generate responses that diverge from reality. This could happen due to biases in the training data or confusion arising from how the information is presented. Right, Megan. It's about GPT-4V, an AI model trained on sets of images and accompanying text generating responses that are disconnected from what's in front of it. Yes, and the paper we're discussing today introduces a new benchmark tool to measure this. It's called BINGO, which stands for Bias and Interference Challenges in Visual Language Models. The authors used this tool to analyze these hallucinations systematically. It's interesting to see how this arises, like how can an AI model get tripped up and start hallucinating? It all comes down to bias and interference. Bias means the model prefers certain types of responses, possibly since it's more familiar with them due to its training. Interference is when the AI gets mixed signals and ends up confused. Which can happen fairly easily when we consider that these visual language models are trained on vast data sets of images, along with accompanying text. Quite so, Ray. The surprising part, though, is that there's a noticeable bias in GPT-4V. It seems to be more adept at understanding Western-centric materials and has more challenges with other languages, which raises issues in a globalized world. And from my understanding, GPT-4V also struggles when it has to deal with leading questions or multiple images. Is that right? That's correct, Ray. The researchers tried some commonly used AI tricks, like self-correction and chain of thought reasoning to see if they could help. Unfortunately, they couldn't mitigate the hallucinations effectively. But as they always say, to fix a problem, we first need to understand it. So true, Ray. This paper lays the groundwork for the AI community to develop better methods to handle these issues. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, the authors have made the Bingo Benchmark available online for anyone to access and learn from. On that note, we'll wrap up today's episode. Don't forget to share your thoughts and questions with us and we'll continue to break down AI for you. Remember to subscribe and drop us a review if you've enjoyed our walk through the world of AI today. This is Megan. And Ray. Signing off from AI Breakdown, Keep feeding your curiosity, people.